Well, hello there, Wet Cave of Murderers. This is Cross Knights, and this is the Wet Cave of Murderers radio show. And it's day three here. We didn't die. No zombies got in. And there was only one death. A young man, appropriately named Cabbage. Cabbage died. Not sure why. He went out to search, just like uh, Tech uh, Splicing, Splicy Splicer, whatever the hell his name is. Apparently, uh, people just like wandering off into the desert. Well... There is actually another death that didn't happen over the night, and I'm absolutely appalled by it. Uh, someone asked to be hanged. They actually asked to be hanged. I guess there was nothing, you know, life was too much. I have, I have no idea. Um, and people actually hung him. They actually hung him because they asked. Um, and I'm disgusted by this because we haven't yet built the cremato cube. We could have eaten him. He would have tasted so good. I mean, the man was a little bit doughy. Let, let's... Let's let's not beat around the bush here. He looked like good eats. Now, if we don't get the chromatic cue up, we're going to have to throw his body outside. The zombies will enjoy his delicious flesh when we could have, and we deserve it. That gallows cost a lot of wood that is now splintered and broken. I mean, this man could at least give back to the community. But hey, there's still time. Maybe it won't be a waste. All right, but on to less um, delicious... Wait. Um, on to less... Um, I'm really hungry. And we uh, also managed to avoid another near death. Uh, a plan was we you see we have this uh, camo armor. Uh, it it hides you from zombies. It's actually very useful. We're going to give it to someone for one day. Um, he he kind of misunderstood us. Instead of waiting for us to give it to him, he ran out into the desert without it and got uh, trapped there. So we couldn't return. It was um, Irvy Taylor or something. That, I don't know what his name is. But anyway, um, one of the residents, Bram, actually went down and. Uh, jacked himself up on some alcohol and uh, and some drugs and ran out into the desert and rescued him so he didn't die. He could have, but he didn't, so that was very cool of him. That was some superhero action right there. Uh, and then later today, Bram actually goes out into the desert. Now, we need an electronic bun because we don't have the search tower. The fact that we don't have a search tower is very, 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 very bad. I, I don't know if I can overstress the amount. It is day three and we don't have the damn search tower. But um, we need an electronic component. Bam, ad or Bam. <laughs> Bram actually goes out, looks in the desert for like three seconds, bam, electronic opponent. I, I don't know what's going on. He's obviously blessed by the zombie god or something. But anyway, we can now build the search tower. Everything will be fine. We'll upgrade the thing. We'll be able to follow meteorological disturbances. We actually have a chance in hell, unless we run out of water. I gotta say, whoever named this place the Wet Cave of Murderers, um, it doesn't have any of those things. It's not wet, and no one's been murdered, besides that guy that got hung, but he asked for it. It was kind of like assisted suicide. So, you know, that doesn't really count. In any case, as far as the uh, zombie versus defense situation, we're absolutely fine. We're going to be attacked by about 60 zombies, but we have 80 defense. We built the Great Wall of Strengthening. Our uh, top minds have rated that at plus 7 defense. Uh, we have a search tower now because of the electronic component. That's also excellent. A factory, so it's easier for us to process raw materials and make them to more useful ones. And a butcher, so uh, I probably shouldn't complain. I, I just really, I just really wanted to eat the gay. I'm sorry. He looked more delicious than the rats I'm going to be eating, but we butchered a whole bunch of animals. We have like 40 different food items, enough to feed probably all of us for at least one day. So uh, that that's good at least. But uh, we're also going to try to work on the vegetable plot so that we can have some actual non-meats. You know, you need that. Uh, you need veggies. You need veggies in the zombie apocalypse. So that'll be great. Um, not exactly sure what we're going to be building tomorrow. I'm going to figure it out. Uh, I also plan to do an interview, hopefully, tomorrow, but uh, not today. I'll have to wait till tomorrow. So no one should die unless they uh, foolishly went outside or something crazy. Like uh, the guy that decided to camp really close to the base. He's probably going to die because, you know, that's where all the zombies come, close to the base. You don't want to go close to the base. You want to camp as far away from the base as possible and hide yourself. So he's probably dead, but regardless... Well, that's about it. This episode was brought to you by Razman's Raspberry Lemonade. The only lemonade that permanently bluens your teeth. Go pick some up at stores that no longer exist anymore. Okay, and before I forget, I actually received a uh, radio broadcast on the radio uh, from the Hot Dunes of Ravens. So apparently we're not the only town out there. Maybe there's actually other people listening to this. I gotta say that's very cool. So hopefully they'll be okay. Hopefully we'll all be okay. Maybe we'll actually be able to meet in person one day. I don't know. I hear that uh, these desert towns don't have a very high rate of survivability, but hey, we'll be the first, damn it. In any case, nights out.